Happy Friday, everybody. I have a new read aloud for you. Well, actually, it's not new. It's a book that we read at school that everybody really liked. And it's called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And it's by Judith Borst. There's Alexander waking up on the wrong side of the bed. He's in for a day. And all throughout this book, remember, he's going to wish that he could go to Australia. That is far. Get moms and dads to show you where Australia is on a map, and you'll see just how far away he wants to go to get away from the day that he's having. I hope you'll be able to see the pictures. I think when I read this one, um, if you can't see the pictures while I read the words, I'll show the book to the screen, so just be patient. I tried it before, and it was kind of hard to do, so we'll, we'll make sure you get to see the pictures. Let's go for it. Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Here's our title page. Here we go. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible no good, very bad day. I could tell because at breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast Cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even listened. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said, I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll they had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to go to Australia. Oh dear, look at his face right here. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said, I was a crybaby. 
And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, my mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia. Oh man, poor Alexander. I hope everybody has a better day than this poor guy had. In fact, I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful weekend. It is a gorgeous day outside. Get out there and enjoy it. I'll see you soon.